Oh, Whoopi is missing. Whoopi Goldberg in the new The View uh, Stinger trailer. It was exclusive. Here's the announcement for The View. Someone's missing. It's okay. Let's do it. Ready? I'm so ready. Let's work. Finally, someone is paying for her sins. All six stars of The View are slated to return for the show's 27th season on September 5th, but a new promo had fans freaking out that one star had been phased out. Joy Behar, 80, Sonny Hostin, 54, Anna Navarro, 51, Sarah Haynes, 45, and Alyssa Farah Griffin, 34, all star in the 82nd segment, which sees them each listing three words to describe their top-rated talk show. While the women appear throughout the entire segment, leading Lady Whoopi Goldberg, now 67, only appears in the final few seconds of the trailer, peeping out from behind a camera. This latest trailer got the fans convinced that she may be replaced as one of the show's panelists. The moderator, who currently helms the show four days a week, is seen for just four seconds with some viewers missing her cameo completely. Uh-oh, I don't see Whoopi, one concerned fan wrote on Twitter. Wait a damn minute, where's Whoop? Stop playing PPL, another armchair detective declared. I like The View, but I love Whoopi, a third railed, seeming to think Goldberg was gone for good. She made the show worth watching. The only reason I watch the show, bring back Whoopi. Others realized that the promo was simply teasing fans about Goldberg's absence. Lamau, for a second, I thought Whoopi wasn't coming back. One relieved fan wrote, after seeing the star finally flash up on screen, but the fact that she was almost entirely left out of the promo raises a lot of questions. Back in 2021, it was reported that the sister act superstar had renewed her contract on the talk show for four more years, taking her through to the summer of 2025. Goldberg reportedly makes about $8 million per year for her four days per week on the show. The EGOT legend is reportedly untouchable at ABC after ratings dropped during her two-week suspension from the show early last year for controversial comments she made about the Holocaust. But her consistent controversies are proving costly for the network. Since 1997, The View has been the place for debate over everything from politics to celebrities. There have been plenty of memorable moments over the years, including talks about pool sex and lap dances. And The View isn't slowing down with season 27 on the clock, but Goldberg's time on the screen is seemingly coming to a sad end. I'm really proud that The View is having this moment 26 years into its run, executive producer Brian Tetta revealed in a statement. The show is more relevant than ever, and it's a credit to visionaries Barbara Walters and Bill Getty and the concept they created, he continued. Television audiences have changed drastically since the show began in 1997. You have to be can't miss television to break through, and The View is always at its best when it's a reflection of the conversations our viewers are having at home. This combination of co-hosts is very special. They are having fun at the table, but they also are talking about important issues, reacting to breaking news in real time, and having tough conversations. They have terrific chemistry, and everyone in our audience can find a perspective to connect with. Now we are heading into a presidential election cycle when The View is historically at its strongest, and I'm very excited for what's to come in season 27. But aside from Whoopi Goldberg almost getting muted from the trailer, other fans are wondering whether another co-host, Joy Behar, is going to retire. Thankfully, the iconic View co-host doesn't have any plans about stepping away from the talk show. I just signed a contract, so I'll be here for a while, she revealed in 2022. I have no plans to retire. Joy will turn 81 in October. She later added, I'm happy to be a part of it, so no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm having a good time. Just recently, new and alarming information was revealed by Trish Reagan, who claims that Disney may cancel The View. And guess why? She specifically mentioned Whoopi by name, noting that her employment status was uncertain. This new trailer more or less confirms those rumors. Paul, I've been alive a long time. My phone is never wrong. <laughs> yeah. No one has ever told me. And it, and it seems like a lot of folks are relieved about it. Someone else voiced their thoughts on the show, saying, Trish, I enjoy everything you post. I would prefer making all of them accountable for their actions and hopefully they reap what they sow. While this person straight up called Whoopi evil, I never watched that vile show. She really is horrible. I used to respect her, never ever again, evil on that show. The speculation that Whoopi's employment is in peril was justified after all. Whoopi started looking elsewhere for work a few months ago. Reportedly, the 67-year-old actress and host made her intentions to host Wheel of Fortune clear back in June. 
Pat Sajak, the show's 76-year-old host, announced his retirement after an outstanding 41 seasons, prompting this intriguing turn of events. I realized that I kept trying to do something and couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. I was a decent person. I'd... After Sajak announced his departure, the hosts of the show began discussing his replacement. The host of Jeopardy, Ken Jennings, chimed in. Jennings praised Sajak, calling him a legend, and added a lighthearted joke about the Wheel of Fortune vowel price remaining unchanged. Additionally, he joked that there should be a backup plan in the form of a sealed envelope for when Pat finally gives up and calls it quits. That's when things started heating up. Goldberg dragged herself into the conversation with a daring statement, I want that job. She definitely didn't hold back her enthusiasm and seemed genuinely excited at the prospect, mentioning that it would be lots of fun. The show's corporate corporation, Disney, is reportedly considering canceling The View, as mentioned earlier. Given the company's previous actions, such as discontinuing Disney Plus in less profitable regions, the prospect of canceling The View is not completely out of the question, and Goldberg makes it even easier. Plus, the show hasn't exactly had a sterling reputation, especially among those on the inside. Who could forget The View co-host Meghan McCain? She is one of the few people that voluntarily left the show rather than being fired. Megan's experience on the show was both enjoyable and frustrating. She was a powerful voice for the conservative side, and her work helped the show's ratings, but her path to success was not without its share of personal difficulties. The death of her father, the hostile work environment, and the backstage drama all contributed to her decision to leave. Since its inception in 1997, the show has included numerous HR-related complaints and stage terminations. Behind the scenes, things have been quite a roller coaster. Whoopi has a lengthy history of controversy, so it must be difficult to keep her in line as it is. For instance, she spoke her mind on The View about Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town. She felt that the visuals in the music video that were supposed to represent Black Lives Matter demonstrations fell short. Goldberg noted something interesting. He's got folks from the Black Lives Matter movement, and he's talking about people taking care of each other, and I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. According to reports, Aldean responded by taking legal action, accusing Goldberg and the other hosts of The View of defaming him and costing him $40 million in damages. An article titled, Jason Aldean files defamation suit against Whoopi and The View, I'm No Racist, that gets down to the nitty gritty of the matter. According to the story, the complaint says Whoopi and the other hosts made discriminatory insinuations about the singer because of his new song. Whoopi got so frustrated on a different day that she left the table in the middle of a heated discussion to do something utterly out of character. She took a selfie with a 91-year-old member of the audience. For some background, there was some contention that Miranda Lambert had criticized audience members who took photos during her Las Vegas engagement. Co-host Sonny Hostin chimed in, stating that if she were paid $1.757 for tickets, she wouldn't mind taking as many selfies as she wanted. So Whoopi didn't take the bait. Her retort was, you know what, stay home. If you're going to spend $1.750 to come to my concert, then give me the respect of watching me do my thing or don't come. Whoopi went all in when Hostin said she often records concerts on her phone to relive the experience later. She got out of her chair and told the girl to turn on the TV. Then, with a flourish, Whoopi got up from the table and walked over to the spectators. Of course, Joy Behar would have to inquire as to her whereabouts, and Whoopi exclaimed, I am the queen of the world, as she made her way to the studio audience seats. All in all, considering her past, maintaining order around Goldberg probably isn't simple. She gained notoriety for the wrong reasons in 2022. Her comments about the Holocaust were among the most divisive, leading to her two-week ban from The View in February. But it seems that her run is sadly coming to an end, but we'll have to wait and see how the new season unfolds. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.